Today we're going to be taking a little look at front leg hook kicks. So we start off as we always do, side on in our garden stance with our knees bent and our weight distributed roughly 50-50 between each leg. So I'll just turn side on so you can see what I'm doing. I'm here. First thing we're going to do with the front leg hook kick is we've got to, we've got to balance our weight, we've got to support our weight. So we're going to do this in one or two ways. Either we're going to bring the foot underneath the weight so we can lift the leg or we're going to bring our weight over the back foot so we can support the weight uh, so we can support the weight yeah. so we're here so we're either going to go here or we're going to go here either way we need to be balanced we need to be platform we need to be structurally sound okay so we're here as we shift the weight or as we bring it up we also need to twist the foot into the right position so we get the proper hip alignment so we can perform the technique so it's here we twist the foot up or as we bring our weight over the back leg boom we're gonna twist the front foot, uh, the back foot up. Okay, so we go down like this. Here, boom, or we go, boom, here. Okay, so we're turning forward for this next bit. Okay, so as we do that, we shift the weight onto the back leg, or we have to bring the back leg up to support the weight. Here, boom. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lift this leg up, uh, the, the back foot's pointing backwards. We're gonna use the striking foot, and we're gonna, if we think of it like a clock, guys, okay? This is my 12 o'clock. This is my one o'clock, this is my two o'clock, 11, 10, okay? So what we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna bring the leg up and we're gonna extend the leg to about in between one and two o'clock, two o'clock if we can, and then we're gonna bring the leg right through to 10 o'clock, like this, here, comes up, goes out, comes right through, comes back, goes down, okay? I wanna bring it this side of the body, and then I need to bring it all the way through, here. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. Here, let me speed that up a little bit. Here. Up. Okay. Uh, important to note with this kick, guys, that we've got two different parts of the leg uh, with regards to this kick, okay? We've got the hip to the knee, and then we've got the knee to the ankle. So what I mean by that is, we need to use both of these parts of the leg here and here individually yet also collectively or symbiotically we need to use them together and in conjunction together and use them at the appropriate times we don't want to do one too early or too late that's another video though okay so here what we need to do we need to utilize this more than everything not people don't usually have a problem doing this okay a lot of people seem to struggle to do this boom Boom, they, they tend to come down to like here and flip the leg. Come down to here and flip the leg. So it's like, boom. And you sort of stop the power there. So they're not really getting the proper power that they could get. And a lot of people feel like they can't get power on this kick. And a lot of it is to do this top hip, guys, okay? So basically, we need to use them both in conjunction together. So we need to bring it over, start closing the knee, bam, let it whip, like a whip, boom. Boom, we don't want to be like this. And we don't just want to be like this, using this. We want to use them both together. Boom. 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 A bit like that, do you know what I mean? That's why it's called a hook kick. It's a bit like a hook, do you get me? So I'm here. Bring it up. Boom. Boom. Okay, guys. That's all I've got for you today. Wishing you a peaceful and pleasant night.